Hello everyone, my name is Wilfred Avinja. Welcome back. Subscribe, let's share knowledge. Let's learn together. If you are new to R, you can download R from the internet. Just search R, then open that link, click CRAN to open. Here we get CRAN mirrors. So you select a mirror that is near you. Because the nearer the mirror, the faster the downloading speed. I'm near South Africa, therefore I'm going to click this one. Then we get different R for different operating systems. I'm using Windows, therefore I'll download R for Windows. Then I will install R for the first time. I click this one, install R for the first time. Lastly, then you have to click this one to download. I'm not going to do this because I've already downloaded and installed it. So what you need to do is to click this one and download and install. After installing R, you get these two icons here, which will indicate that which indicates that R has been successfully installed. R works best with R Studio, therefore we have to download R Studio 2. Just search R Studio. Open this link. Click download. Come down. Click this download R Studio Desktop free. You download this one. Based on your operating system, you download the R Studio. For those who use Windows, click this one. I'm not going to do that because I've already done this. After installing R Studio, it will appear like this this icon so let's open our studio when you open R for the first time this is how it appears you get three windows this window is called a console this is where we work on this other window which is at the top right has environment history connection and tutorial in the environment is where our variables and observations are where they occur. This other window, which is at the bottom right, has files, plots, package, help, and fewer tab. This file tab, this is where we navigate through our files and folders. This plot is where, when we make plots, like when we create charts, histogram, this is where they come, so that you can get them and export and use them. Packages, you get uh, different packages uh, of R. If you want to use any of these, you, you install it. Helps this way are the resources for you for your help are before you do anything in R you create a working directory to create a working directory you click session set working directory choose directory then you navigate through where your working directory is where you want to work from this is the path it creates a path. My working directory is in E folder called R tutorial and subfolder which call number one introduction to R. If you look at this other window here, the same path appears and the contents of the path appears. But of importance here, we have two important files. This one is a file which, which has our data and this one as uh, the script that we are going to use. So if you want to work with R, you can work in the console. It can work as a calculator where you do 4 plus 3 and press enter. It gives you 7. You can do 57 minus 7. You press enter on the keyboard. It gives you 50. You can associate, for example, you can associate Wilfred with this sign. This sign means we associate Wilfred with maybe 45 uh, minus 7 we press enter and time I type Wilfred on and then press enter it will give me that 8 why because Wilfred has been associated with 45 minus 7 which is 38 the problem with this is that when we close our R the scripts which we use here they get lost that's why we need to use another script window. When I click this, it comes in, in the script window. 
So there's a, another window, fourth window, which just popped up here. So as we have seen, the first thing to do when working uh, with R is to set a working directory, which we have set. You set a working directory, you come to session, uh, set working directory, choose working directory, and then navigate through a place where your working directory is. If you don't set your working directory, you, you will not get results. You will be getting errors every time, every time you, you work. So to demonstrate that script can get lost here. If I close this, R, and even save, and then open again, you can see that the script which we worked on here has got lost, but this one here have remained intact. So let's set this working directory. Come session, set working directory, choose directory. Uh, go to my working directory, we want it to be, then open, it sets, and everything is correct here now. So after setting a working directory, the second thing is to import data. The data that you, that you want to, to work on, you import it to R. So our data is this one called population structure.txt. It is an, a, t, a txt format. So to import it, we have to give another name here. For example, you can give it any other name. Me, I've chosen to give it file name. Then you, you, you write this, this sign here to associate. File name is all surfing. You open this quotation mark. They are very important. Then you type population structure.txt as it appears here. If you don't type these quotation marks, you're going to get errors. So after that, we have to execute this. You just click here, run. Or on the keyboard, you hold the control key and then press enter. You see in the console, this command appears as it's up here, but in color blue, meaning, meaning that it has been executed. So anytime if I want to see the file name, I just come down here, just type the name file name, file name. And hold and hold control key then press enter. It, it's going to tell me file name has a population structure. And another thing to see, uh, look at the environment here. The file name has appeared here, but it's in values. So we need to, to read this file name. We need to read this file name so that we can see the data that is there. So th what you can do is that you for you can give it another name. For me, I've chosen to call it my data. Use the read.csv command. We are reading file name, this file name here. We are reading it, but now we are using read.csv. This is the command which reads. So you, 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 you tell our read, dot, read file name. And after reading it, you call it my data. This, this other part here is just a characteristics of our data so if we open this uh, population structure data you can realize that each column is separated from the other by a tab so SEP means a separator and this sign here backslash T means that tab so the separator of this file here that separates column is a tab this is how a tab is written. You write a separator, it's separated by a tab. Then this file here has header. So the header are the titles of each column. Each column has the titles. So those, those headers, we say they are true because they are present. If they are not true, we type false. So if we open that file, let, let, let's, let's, let's open it and see. You can see it's here, and you can see it has separation. It's separated by a tab. This is a tabs. Every column is separated by a tab, and these are the headers. So you can write the headers or the titles are 
two, this Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5. They are true. After writing this command, you read your file name by using read.jsv, then this uh, this uh, attributes of our file. You hold control key, you press enter, or you just press this. You see, it has been successfully executed. If I want to see now my data, I can just type my data. My data. Then if I hold control key and press enter, it will read my data and show it in the console. You can also view it. It's the same thing. You can type view. Then you type my data. But now it's going to come in a tab here. You press control, enter. It has come in a new tab. You can see this are uh, the trade and these are the columns so we can explore this data you you may need to see the first six rows of our data you just use this uh, command you write head you want to see head of my data after that you run you will see the first six rows and you can, you have to see you can if you want you can see the tail you run you see the tail so you write tail then my data so you can see the dimension of your data that you want you see dimension it has 124 rows and six columns to summarize when you open r this is the first this is the window that you get the first thing you do is to set your working directory you choose your working directory, navigate through your folders, and then set the working directory. We have set it. The second thing is to create a, a, a script window. Just click there. You get this script window. Then import our data. Use this code file name. This is just a name which I've given it. You can give it another name, file name. And then you type then you are the name of uh, structure dot txt because that's a text you hold control key then press enter the second thing after importing is to read our data you can give it a name data then this is the command read dot csv is the, is the code that we used to read our data file name then you you put a uh, attribute separator is equals to a tab is tab then the header is equals to true is equals true after that you hold control key then press enter you can save this script and use it later what you do you come to file save as you choose where you want to save it and you can type my script then save you can get it and use it later that is it for today thanks for watching see you later